Headline news, local. The headline? Tennessee officials address concerns over toxic gases from Ohio train derailment. It's going to be fun. We're covering this on the, uh, on the, on the national, national topic. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it's not good, Sky. No, it doesn't look good, does and, it? And I'm not here to make anyone feel panicked or anything, mm-hmm. but people are lying. That's it, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> there's, some, there's some lying going on, or at least admitting of truth, mm-hmm. if you will. Here's WKRN News 2 reporting on it. So the Tennessee officials addressed the concerns over the toxic gases from the Ohio train derailment. Mm-hmm. Have you seen this? Concerns mm-hmm. officials say Tennesseans can, quote, rest assured. Despite some concerns, officials say Tennesseans can, quote, rest assured toxic mm-hmm. chemicals from this train derailment in Ohio won't make their way here. Mon- okay, say so that's what they're reporting, right? Right. I get it, and that's very nice. Tennessee air, water, clean, safe. That's very nice how they, yeah. Day, some people got alerts about the air quality in Nashville that it was poor, but the Department of Environment and Conservation Ooh. says the alert stemmed from a glitch in data reporting. And- oh, it was a glitch. Oh, of course. Oh, there was a glitch. No, it's just a glitch. It's a small explosion. It's just fireworks and right. children. You know, eight deadly toxins in the air after it rains and everything. It was just a glitch. Oh, my goodness. Oh, gracious. my goodness. And there aren't any legitimate concerns. <laughs> the National Weather Service explains why our air and water will stay clean. Okay. You can visit WKRN.com to read this full story. Oh, you won't tell us? Nope, not telling. <laughs> no? Oh, you don't want to be liable? Mm. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, the uh, despite several concerns, yeah. So uh, they're saying it's fine. They're saying it's fine. So he really wants you to dig deeper. Been involved in every right. major yeah, conflict. Involved. So, oh, yeah, goodness. yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So uh, I just want to show you something here. East Palestine, mm-hmm. uh, Palestine, sorry. Yeah. Ohio on Twitter. Strange name. And it's fine. Everything's fine, Scott. Okay. Guys, here in East Palestine, Ohio, here with, uh, and it's uh, Tom Murphy, Ted. Ted, Ted Murphy, Mr. Murphy here. And, the chemical uh, what's your fallout. experience been like with this, this entire situation over the past couple of weeks? Sir? Horrific. Wow. <laughs> I'm evacuated out of my house before they pulled the evacuation because my 80 year old mom lives with me. My house was what a nice guy. engulfed mm. in fumes. So I got her out, packed some clothes, and then Sunday I come back to get her insulin. Because we didn't grab her insulin. Oh, no. She needs it. Yeah, she needs that. that. Yeah, No, Sunday before the implosion. Oh, okay. Okay. And so and just wow. to just catch you up. Uh, so <clears throat> train carrying some Dangerous pretty chemicals. serious chemical toxins. Mm-hmm. Okay. Derailed. All okay. right. And huh, it it derailed because it caught fire and it traveled for quite a few miles while on fire. Mm-hmm. All right. And then derailed, okay. okay, in East Palestine, Ohio. Just jump track. In case you've been under a rock, and I get it. Mm-hmm. Now, the the company comes in, and the government, and they decide to, instead of, I don't know, transferring the toxins into other other scenarios or whatever. Well, let's say, are they still on fire They the time? De- they decided to it's a little hard. blow it up, mm. okay? What happens when you blow it up and you create fire with toxins? Mm-hmm. It goes up in smoke, like the cigar shop, and then it goes into the skies and clouds. Mm-hmm. Then it gets distib- uh, distributed throughout when it comes back down to the ground through rain. Yeah, toxic rain. Right. <laughs> Instead of chocolate rain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, right. And so now that's what these people are dealing with. Hmm. Dead Ooh. fish everywhere. Dead animals. Yeah. Chickens. Foxes. Not the chickens. All dead. All dead. They, they, just like you walk out and they're all dead. Well, this is serious too because then it's going to get you know, in the groundwater. And, right. Y- yes. Right. You know. But WKRN said it's, it's safe. It's like a little mini Chernobyl. It's safe. I get it. I get it. We're, we're, we're far from there. And, you know, we get our water from the Cumberland River. Okay, officially. Yep. We, we have amazing... Uh, we have a lot of treatment plans. A lot yeah. of treatment. It's, it's very good. But we connect to the Ohio River. Mm-hmm. 
through Lake Barkley. Yeah. All right. So I'm just saying. When I left up about this. to go back over, the fumes in town were nothing like they were on 170 coming out of that creek. I inhaled that air, and I thought I was going to freaking die. I wow. thought I was going to die. I almost wrecked my damn truck. The so the Ooh. government, mm. okay, mm-hmm. uh... No, I'm sorry. The the company involved here, yeah, were offering a thousand dollars, and you sign a waiver for any type of liability of what might happen down the road, hmm. health wise. Well, that's an easy out. Here, thousand Here, bucks. This. Sign this waiver. We'll give you a thousand bucks. It'll you're be high okay. From, you're high for breathing all these chemicals anyway. Right, <laughs> you melted right. your brain. So it's crazy. Just gonna want to sign on the line. It's, it is crazy. Oh man. And uh, Buttigieg, uh, who's uh, who is the uh, transportation secretary, mm-hmm. finally says something. Finally. Okay. But uh, flex racism that went into those designs, or if an underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying mostly black and Puerto Rican kids uh, to a beach, or there would have been uh, in New York, was was designed uh, too low for it to pass by. This is what he's talking about, and I don't want to get political in the morning show. Okay. You know what else he was talking about while all this is happening? I have a headache now. He was talking about how construction workers, <clears throat> there's too many white people uh, as construction <laughs> yeah, workers. I, he's really like, so let's take it over here. Here's the thing. You know why he's, he's obsessed with race right now? When he was mayor of South oh, Bend, Indiana. Gosh. Okay. Mm-hmm. He, he did some things that you could be like, wow, bro. <laughs> And now he's trying to make up for that. Racist. Yeah. <laughs> so now he's trying to make up for it. Let's talk about Puerto Rican children. Right. But yeah. Going to the beach. He's Palestine. So I'm here at Leslie Run, and there's dead worms and dead fish all throughout this water. So, something I just discovered is that if you scrape the creek bed, it's like chemical is coming out of the ground. Can, can you- okay. Woo wee. Chemical coming out of the ground. Wait, he's going to show, I think. Here and, and let me just show this to people. I don't look. You don't see this on camera, but watch this. Just see oh. that chemical pop out of yeah. the creek. This is disgusting. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Everything's fine. And we just call it chemical. And here's the thing too. Can we get some scientific names here. So the the local the, the government in that area, they were saying, Okay, listen, everything's okay. It's mm-hmm. all right. We advise you to drink bottled water and that was it. What about showering? What about brushing your teeth? Yeah. Well, definitely don't do that. Like. And the fact that we have not cleaned up the, the, the train crash, the fact that these chemicals. Yeah, Lori Mason brings a good point. Erin Brockovich, mm-hmm. she's, she's stepping in, too. She's helping out. Oh, great. To be like, yo, I, I've been through this. Yeah. Well, it's not like this, but all right. Yeah. Chemicals are still seeping in the ground is an insult to the people who live in East Palestine. Do not forget these people. We've got to keep applying pressure. That's how we're going to fix this problem. Thank you. Right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Every, everything's okay. Mm. Everything's okay, though. Okay. Is Tonight, she's right outside the town hall where no officials from the Biden administration or the train company bothered to show up. She's yeah. the owner of the Von Schwartz Doberman Kennel in Pennsylvania. She's a dog person. She lives about a mile over the border. So... Um, just to let everybody know, this oh, uh, this section of Ohio, seventy one percent did not vote for the current administration. Ah, right. Her from East Palestine, and she has just been asked to sign a waiver promising not to sue agencies monitoring the mm. air near her property. We oh thought- yeah, government agencies. Wow, government agencies, tax dollar payer agencies like the Isn't EPA. Isn't that just like a call to? Sue these agencies. Like, sign this and don't sue the agency. Yes. Like, oh, well, you mean I have a case? So good. Well, let me call my lawyer. Right. But that was telling. Caitlin Schwartzwalder joins us tonight with her boyfriend, Chris Wells. Caitlin and Chris, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, Caitlin, if you'll just explain your experience with the official who asked you to sign a waiver. Sure. So what I can tell you is that um, we would like to have independent testing done. And um, uh, the do the, it. People mm-hmm. at Norfolk had suggested that they were going to offer services Jesus. by an independent testing company to do uh, air and water testing for us. Um, when these we're talking about 
Right. Look, now, this lady, is she a public official or is she the mm-hmm. owner of a kennel that's right over the border and uh-huh. close to the site? That's what I'm trying Where are the local government officials being mad at the responsible parties they, and getting these tests done for their city and for their there. counties? The, so, okay. So the mayor of mm-hmm. this area of East Palestine, yeah. Ohio, had a gathering. Okay. Okay. And the I'd train so. and the train company and the government agencies were asked to be there mm-hmm. to answer questions to the people. Right. The train company pulled, never went. Okay. No like gover- a town hall. No government agencies went there to provide answers or at least support. They all wow. bailed. And the, the mayor was pissed. I'm okay with this well, mayor. He, he, yeah, he he's in be. over his head and he's like Yo, yeah, it's a big his deal. quote is, they did this to our town. They are, going to, they are going to have to rebuild this town. Yeah. Right. These people came to our property. Uh, the company was called CTEH. Uh, I call it CTEC. And um, they had approached our property, came to our, our driveway and said, you know, we're here to test the water and soil. And I said, okay, so you guys are independent from Norfolk. And they said, well, not exactly. So then they handed us a contract. Um, The contract stated that essentially uh, Norfolk or any of its affiliates, you know, were going to be, uh, you know, encroaching on the property. They were going to be doing the testing um, and that it was essentially a hold harmless agreement. Now, I'm not a lawyer, but what I can tell you is that uh, I did not want to risk um, anything for my future, the future of the business, uh, by signing what? this contract. Yeah, don't, uh, EPA don't sign EPA was it. also there, um, and we had asked, uh, Chris specifically had asked EPA if they could come in by themselves or without signing of any agreements, and they denied that. Huh. Well, yeah, I mean, having the company whose train derailed test for the effects Norfolk of the derailment is, mm-hmm. is a little like, putting Pfizer in charge of the FDA. Oh, I guess we did that. Oh. <laughs> oh Tucker. Oh, Tucker. Tucker. Uh, YouTube, I don't agree with the, what Tucker mm-hmm. says there. Poke the bear. Okay. You know where Caitlin oh, yeah. Schwartzwalder is. So, uh, Tonight she's right outside the town. We're gonna Encroaching look. on the property. Oh uh, by signing this contract. Look at uh, all that. EPA all that chemical. was also just... there. Um, and we had asked uh, Chris specifically. Yeah. All right, let's... Well, Ooh, we well, uh, gonna, gotta watch that one. Yeah, yeah. Look at that cloud sky. Wow. This is this is taken from a plane. It's massive. If I was on this plane, I'd be like, "Hey, where are those masks that pop down?" Should we go around? Yeah, I think I'll, we should maybe go around that uh, that thing. I'll put my mask on before I help anyone else first. I mm-hmm. I, I I heard the lady say that. Give me that mask. That oh, Oscar. from a commercial flight. Yes. Oh man. Right. I thought this was an independent pilot Could adventure you pilot. Check this out. No. She just threw a piece of wood in, right? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Wow. Oh, boy. Yeah. Look at all that. Look at it. It's all in the bottom of the creek bed. Jeez. Yeah, move out. Mm-hmm. Move out. I, 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 this is a, this, th- these are not well off people financially. Yeah. I don't even think they have the option. And who's going to buy this property now? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? These people can never sell these homes. So do you to think the government now has to buy them out? Well, when you say the government, or the responsible party, our tax dollars. Yeah. Fudge. I said fudge. That they don't have. <laughs> right. <laughs> Who? You, you can't even sell your home. You know what I mean? Who would wow. buy? Who would buy? This is what the rain did to my fiance's car. Now 45 we'll minutes away. Oh my gosh. Wonder if these people threw their shoes away. Mm-mm. You know what? Yeah. Th- that's a great point, Lori. They're, they're walking on this. Yeah. Well, don't run around barefoot. What'd you say about the fiance? Right, on the story right underneath it. Oh, right, this one? The car damage there. Kitten. 45 miles away. 45 miles away. Okay. Again, everything's safe. Everything's safe. Alexa, how many miles is Clarksville from East Palestine, Ohio? From East Palestine, 
Clarksville is 589.7 miles away by car. Mm-hmm. All right, by car. Okay. All right. So, you know what doesn't travel by car? Clouds. Mm-hmm. Water. Water. Just saying. Yeah, it's crazy. Yikes. This is gross. And the fact that government's not even over there. I'm going to throw another rock right here. Would you stay here? Would you drink that water? Would you be affiliated with this? Would you bathe your kids when it's bubbling up and looking like an oil slick? Good for so local again, local reporters. Yeah. You know why local reporters are doing okay a job? Because mm-hmm. they drink the water. Because they're there. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's move forward. Oh, my goodness. But everything's fine. Mm-hmm. Everything's fine, they said. In Nashville. Bright, sunny days. Nothing to see here. Right. Tennessee officials, look at that. Everything's fine. They said that after 9-11, too. Mm-hmm. The cleanup crews down there. Everything's fine. Yeah. Air's clean. 20 years later, mm-hmm. all dead from cancer. And their families had to be compensated. Yeah. Thanks to John Stewart. Remember him? Yeah. Yeah. Back when he used to be cool. He's still cool. No, he's, he's a loser now. Yeah? Yeah. He went off the deep end and became a loser. <laughs> Oh, no. Make sure to like, subscribe, share the whole bits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, follow. Truth. That's a lot. You're on a lot of stuff here. I know. Clarksville's Real Conversation. Only on the Joe Padula Show Network. Weekday mornings at 7 a.m. Absolutely. <laughs>